Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to show you new steel. It's a 12 kilowatt continuous stripping steel. So the production rate is up to 30 liters uh, per hour. Here's a pump and here's a water. Just not from the pump. Spill some water when then connecting the uh, water supply. Anyway, no 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 leakages, no no nothing from the steel itself. Here's a water supply. Is a steam generators. These are two steam generators. A water distributor. One common water distributor consumes quite a lot of water for cooling and for pressure maintaining within the steel. So you need to maintain some water pressure in case to make sure that the steam pressure is good enough to to be forced through the columns because there's a liquid in the columns. There's a packing in the columns, there's everything in the columns. I know there's not enough space to show all steel. Uh, here's a steel. It's about two meters high. Relatively compact, can be moved from one place to another, occupies about one square meter of floor area and this steel would process about 100 liters of wash per hour so in 10 hours it would do 1000 liters or 250 gallons I believe something like that is a level of the wash within the column, relatively low. I need to increase the flow. It would be much easier to control it with a big proper 1000 liter drum. Anyway, it's just testing run. Uh, what we've got here is the steam generators and you can see the water level within the steam generator here. Here's another steam generator water level in another tube, you can see it over there. It jumps a bit because uh, what it does, uh, this particular piece actually separates uh, water, the splashes of water that gets into the steam stream and it separates it and sends it back to, to the tube, to the bottom of the steam generator and the steam, water free steam goes into the column. Here's a production rate right now. Uh, we're having about 40%, uh, it's uh, warm, showing 50%, I believe it would be about 40% when it's cooled down. The wash itself is about 7%. In most cases for these steels the best uh, percentage of the wash is about 10 or 12% of alcohol content. In this case it's uh, only 7% because it's been sitting for a few months. I should have run it a long time ago, but I decided to run it on, on this steel. This is it. You can see it maintains the levels. We need to increase the flow a bit. Just increase the flow. And here we need to decrease the flow. Once you adjust it properly, just make sure that there is no alcohol in um, wastewater or spent wash that coming out through this green tube and so the spent wash coming out it's easy to test it's uh, better to keep level somewhere in the middle uh, you're probably gonna lose in percentage of the stripped alcohol instead of 55 50 you're gonna get 45 percent probably but taking alcohol by keeping it in the middle will ensure that there is no spirits getting lost in the wastewater so it's gonna strip everything it's gonna give you a little bit more water within your spirit but anyway it's a primary distillation and you would need another secondary distillation for this particular steel I don't know how to show it from another perspective okay let's try it from here Here. Okay, this is technically it. And while we were talking, 
there's about 15 liters of uh, wash is gone you can see the speed of uh, production thank you very much bye